All right. Ah. <laughs> anyway, hello, my best town friends and ladies. Welcome back to some more Ross. Or should I say Eli Ross? I'm going with that joke again, so. Anyway, on my last video, I couldn't know where to go on the last few side missions I want to do and all that good stuff. Thanks to someone in the comments below. I was supposed to head back to Cospin, which I'm heading there right now, so. And then, frick, I couldn't memorize the comments what he said, but I can figure it out, hopefully, to do the side missions. So here we go. So we're going straight ahead that way. Cool, I can take out this enemy. Because I have an axe. That's right. Sounds like a dog. Oh, quest progress. Really? Where? What was the quest pro? I did complete that one. Key to this game chest that... Uh, I completed that one. Search for Elric. The monastery... Which missions I completed? Return to Cospin. Oh, okay. He gave me a quest update. I have no idea. Quest complete. Anyway, I'm heading back to Cospin anyway. Oh, Monastery. He told me about this. All right, so Monastery. Is it this way? I think it's this way. Why is my axe invisibly gone? <laughs> All right. That's Cospin. I'll get some Monastery. All right, let's talk to him, actually. Oh, let me read this, actually. I think I completed this mission before. You've done it. I can see the Arab guts drying on your blade, Traveler. You're, you're a real nuthide, whatever it says. Now, young Traveler... And here's the 50 gold to serve as your trophies. 50 of them. Easily done, Garon. Glad I could help. And worry not. I won't tell your sister all the things you said, carry on. Wish I could have... Well, I wish I could have uh, had the extra gold for my trolls. <laughs> but I'm glad it's helping a family stick together. That's important to me. I'll say the first one. Cool, I completed that one. Nice. I think it was, it was part of the missions. How much gold do I have? I have 747. You know what? It's time I go to the shop. See if I buy anything better. The dead horse. No. I'm actually looking for the other shop that has weapons and stuff. This one? Oh, armory. Cool, perfect. Hello, ma'am. Hmm. Can you be in a specific level to do this? Leather trousers, no. Hmm. That's the one I started off with. Studded leather, leather armor. Ooh, okay. I'll buy that. How do I buy you? Cool, I bought the armor. And, hmm.
Well, this one gives me more protection. Okay. Okay, I'll exit now. And let's see. From my inventory. So now I've got some armor. <sighs> okay. You know what? I could have sold that. I still have that armor. All right. Perfect. At least I got some better armor. Oh, did I forget to buy some boots? I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and sell my stuff, actually. I'll go back. Sell some of this stuff. I'm going to sell some of this stuff. Oh, cool. So now I got that out of the way. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. All right, he told me about the monastery. Or did I already return? I, did I already completed that mission? Completed that one. Completed that one. Hmm. Completed. I completed that one. Ah, this one. So I have to go to the monastery. So it's not far from here. So the monastery is right there. So I'm going to go follow that sign right now. Thank you, sir. Oh, there's another plant. I'm going to pick that up. Fire flower. I still haven't figured out how to make potions yet, so... Why does my axe keep disappearing? Cospin. I think that's that's the beginning. Yeah, it is. So I have to go to the other way. Oh, another plant. Trumpet blossom. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to fight those yet. They might be tough enemies. All right, let's go head to the monastery, shall we? Hello, Skull. Ah, monastery is this way. Perfect. That's where I'm going, basically. Let's go. To the monastery we go. With my axe. All right. That's the monastery. Cool. Hello, monastery. And you have a lot of plants out here, sir, which I'll gladly collect. Okay. Collect all these. Collect all of them. So this is the monastery? It's got to be the monastery. All right. Oh, dude, is that him? All right. All right. That must be Elric himself. Welcome, pilgrim, to our Nordic monastery. I am, uh, I am abbot within the oasis of peace. Refer to me as Elric, if you wish, if you so wish. Those who seek wisdom and enlightenment are welcome to this place by the mon by my monks and I. Please stay here as long as you wish. Speak with me, and I will always help you. Thank you, Elric. I am grateful for such hosp hospitality. I, I would have trouble finding peace until I have the closure I seek. I have some questions I want to find the answers to. <clears throat> Please ask. There's questions many years have passed before me. I have seen and felt much of the world in my time. Let us put this old mind of mind to good use. So I got plenty of these. Hmm. I was told you may 
know more about Neroth in older times, around 20 years ago, when there w were many mercenaries and adventurers around. Is it true? Ah, oh, cool! I completed the quest, too. Thank you, comments. Oh! Oh my! But pardon me, traveler. It w has been so long. It surprised me that someone so young could have known of such dark, long past times. Most here have put away their memories of them. In these days, our people left some cities crumbled. The source of our clean running water had gone dry. For no reason we could explain as if it weren't trouble enough. Mercenaries, uh, mercenaries came by the dozen to Naras shortly thereafter, followed by adventurers bent on sending them back from whence they came. There was no peace, then it was a time of the sword, not of the word. Excuse me, wise one, how could I how could a dried water source lead to such chaos across all all of Naroth? May I ask who the mercenaries were, but are still, why had they migrated to Naroth so suddenly, and where have they gone in those 20 years? I'm going to say the first one. In the Naroth of old, there was great wealth for its people. Simple mining would yield much gold and enrich our lives. Yet the, yet the reserves of gold soon ran thin, as did our prosperity during a year of panic. Many worried what could be done to keep our economy stable. It was not long before a group of young scouts discovered a water source with mystifying healing traits. The young ones healed their own wounds with the water. That's true, sometimes. And word of the miracle quickly traveled to the Magus Guild, who would soon use it to heal many more. Before long, the king allowed trading of the elixir to merchants as across the kingdom, and Naroth once again had economy it could depend on you might see then. How the absence of this magic water source would have suddenly crippled Naroth once again. I can see, yes, it is crushing to your economy. Here, so, had the mercenaries arrived hoping to fix the water source? Are they, are the waters flowing again? Is it no wonder Naroth and its people see these times as dark and difficult? I must go, but soon I may return to hear more. Abbot Eric, goodbye. I'll say the first one. The mercenaries, they, they appeared so suddenly here, there was no talk of why, yet their intentions seemed all but heroic. Shortly after the increase of, in mercenaries, something happened. We, can, we call it the incident of uh, cataclysm of some kind which destroyed the castle, restored the flow of our water source, and sent the mercenaries fleeing north. Where they might, where they went, we don't, we do not know beyond rumor, traveler. I must ask you, where has your interest in the mercenaries come from? Oh, I thought my father may have become a mercenary here, yet he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't try to cut off a water supply of a whole, of a whole water of. Province of the kingdom, something does not make sense here. Oh, well, I'm not sure. Just heard a lot of stories as a child. Anyway, let's go with the first one. Why not? Let's see what he's. Let's see what Elric has to say. It has been many years, traveler. There are times when those we love dearly have more in their lives than they wish us to know. Dulzum tells us that there are two sides of two 
sides to every event. No one is ever truly bad. Let us not judge too quickly. Your father during the incident, yet I must admit, I do not know much more about these times. However, there are others in the Roth who are old enough to remember. Tulwolf is one of them, and he is very nearby. I cannot tell you more about him, Traveler, only, only how he can often, to, often be found on the tall hill east of the monastery. If you wish to seek more knowledge of your father. Thank you, Abbot Elric. Many times over, I am thrilled to have a chance to at least discover more about who my father was. I will talk to Tulwolf, if I can find him. Goodbye. And a new quest. Holy crap. Um, good talk with you, sir. And I actually leveled up. I might as well pick up this plant, too. All right. Before I end the video, I'm going to level up to something. I can level up to alchemy? Cool. What skills can I do? Oh, dude, I can learn blocking. Hmm. Should I learn blocking? Maybe I should. Increases the probability to block an enemy attack. Oh, let's try it. It's my choice, so. Cool to know. So now... All right, I'll talk to this guy in the next video, so I'm going to end it here. So I figured out a couple of side missions, which is good. Got them out of the way. And now I got a new side mission with this guy here, which is Wilford, whatever his name is. I don't know. I'm not the one to judge, but I have no handle on my axe. Oh, now I do. Now I don't. Now I do. Now I don't. It's weird. This game's weird. Anyway, I'll end the video here before this game gets even worse. So... Subscribe to me if you haven't, click the bell to get notified on the next video, and comment and like about this. And most importantly, share this video so I get more views and subscribers. And I will see you best time friends and ladies on my next video. Seizure later.